So today is kind of a chill day. I don't have a whole lot of stuff on the agenda for the day. I have a few packages that need to be wrapped up and shipped out. And I've got a few errands to run for my Etsy shop. I've got a whole whack load of stuff that needs to be listed, but I think I'm gonna do that later on today, possibly spend the whole day tomorrow listing items because I've got a whole dining room full of stuff. I'll show you that later. <laughs> so I'm kind of taking it easy today. I'm gonna do some shipping and I'm going to maybe do a little bit of thrift store shopping as well. It was a pretty slow weekend. I only had five sales. These three items sold to one buyer. And I sold this beautiful turquoise art glass ashtray. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I know it was under $5 because if you haven't already noticed, I'm really cheap and I don't like to purchase items over $5. Unless it's something really great, then I'll pay it over $5 for it. But you make your money in the buy, so the lower you can pay for an item, the better. And also, if it doesn't sell, then I don't have too much invested into the item. And I can sell it at a flea market or a yard sale. And worst case scenario, we donate it. If if I cannot absolutely sell it or use it. So so that's why I'm really, really cheap. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't really like to use the word cheap, but I'm frugal because, yeah, if I invest a lot into one piece and it doesn't sell, then that's money that I've, I've lost. So I sold this Woodland gravy boat. And I think I paid $3.50 for it at a yard sale. It is a Pyrex gravy boat. And then these three cats sold to one buyer. The Siamese cats, I got those at a yard sale last year and I paid a dollar each for them. I bought a whole bunch of Siamese cats. Someone was selling their whole collection. So I paid $1 each for those. And then the little kitty with the bird I think I paid a couple dollars for that one. I'm not sure exactly. I, I know I didn't pay more than $3.99, but it might have been a little bit less. So that's everything that I sold over the weekend. Pretty slow weekend for sales, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So I'm gonna wrap these up and get them ready to go to the post office. I almost forgot the buyer of all the cats also purchased these sterling silver and abalone shell earrings. It's a good thing I remembered before I packaged everything up. Although I would have noticed when I was printing off the shipping label, but these sold as well. Packages are all ready to go to the post office. I just need to print off my labels and then I'm ready to head out. I thought I would show you this piece of furniture that I picked up at a yard sale. Now you won't see that video till after this one comes out. So it's kind of a spoiler alert but at least in the video, you'll be able to see what it looked like before and how much I bought it for. So I'm not gonna let you know how much I bought it for and you'll be able to see the before. It's not totally finished. I still have some plans for it and it looked a little bit worse for wear when I got it and I did a little bit of work to it. Not much, I'll show you what I used on it to make it look beautiful. So it's a really cool mid-century modern bookshelf. I'm not sure what you would call it exactly. It can be used as a bar, little bar area, or you can put books in it, display shelf. And there's a piece on top that was purchased at a yard sale as well. Well, actually there's two of them <laughs> that are sitting on top that were purchased at a yard sale. But I won't tell you which pieces they are. You'll have to watch the yard sale to see and see how much I got them for, or we got them for, because Wendell got one of them. So I just put some of my own personal collection, as well as a few pieces that I have listed in my shop, I displayed in here. And it looks quite nice, it fits nice in this area. I wasn't sure if I was gonna resell this piece, but I kind of like it here, so I might keep it for a while. And like I said, I do wanna do a little bit more work, like those side panels, I need to refinish those. 
and you'll see what they look like before. They were pretty bad. <laughs> so I removed what was in there before and I'm going to get some really nice mid-century modern material off of Etsy. I won't need very much. So I'm going to pick some out and then redo those side panels. But other than that, it's in really great condition. There's a few nicks. I'll show you what I used on it. It is a, a trade secret. <laughs> well, that's what it's called, but I'll show you it. So I'll just show you what I got inside here. It's kind of hard to see because there's my reflection in here. But this piece I have listed, it's a smoky brown or smoky gray decanter set. So I have that listed in my Etsy shop. I wish there wasn't a glare. And these two cats I picked up at a yard sale quite a few years ago. And I haven't been able to let those ones go. They're super cool. And then these glasses, I think I have these listed. I had these listed in my Etsy shop. They weren't selling. So I thought I'll list them on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace and see if they sell. And they still haven't sold. So, <laughs> so they look nice in the mid-century modern shelf and then this is a hobbyist piece i picked up quite a few years ago i think i got it in a thrift store this piece of art glass is listed in my etsy shop that's another hobbyist piece that i picked up in a thrift store a few years back those are two pieces that i got in vancouver they're little i'll just open this up so you can see better they're little snuff bottles i thought the colors looked really nice so I put them in there you can see a little better now that there's no glass those cats are so cool I'll open this side yeah so that set's listed in my Etsy shop but I'm okay if it doesn't sell because <laughs> I really like it in there it looks great and then this piece, I really like this piece. I'm pretty sure it's a hobbyist piece. Yeah. I do pick these up when I find them, when they're really cool patterns, designs and colors. I, I have resold a few pieces and they sold, both of them sold really quickly because they are really, really cool, unique pieces. And these two are really unique pieces as well. So they would probably sell online, but I haven't been able to let them go yet. <laughs> so on the side here, I just have one of the Black Panthers, and this is a just a vintage lighter. That is marble. No, that's ceramic. Ceramic. I think those possibly made in Japan. A little piece of brass and a little piece of pottery. This is a signed piece. Latane, I think it says. It's either Lorraine or Latane. I have, I've had that for quite a while. And I just put a crystal and a couple of my favorite little marbles in there. And then this side, these two pieces are listed in my shop. They are the Japanese bookends. They look really nice on the mid-century modern shelf. And some lucite grapes. These ones are green. You can't really tell. They're kind of a green color. And I was thinking of listing those, but I don't know. I might might wait now because I like them there. <laughs> That's the thing with things I list. If they don't sell and I eventually want to use them in my home in my own home decor, then I I take them off. So if you want to buy something, you gotta buy it quick. Because <laughs> I might change my mind. And then this piece is listed as well. This piece of art glass, squeaky floors. This we just got, I think, I think Wendell got this at a yard sale. He picked it up. It's just a really cool shape. Kind of has an art deco shape to it. It's not that old though. And then, well, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about the other pieces. You'll have to watch my yard sale video. <laughs> That's a very loud clock though. So yeah, that's my little shelf. I thought it turned out pretty nice. And I just put that piece over here and this is the brass crane that I got at the auction. 
You would have seen that a few videos back. It was in my back seat. So that's the crane. It's quite tall. I think it's like 33 inches tall. So I was thinking of listing this in my shop, but I don't know. I might hang on to it. Some things I have a really hard time selling, <laughs> but I can't keep everything. So I'll show you this piece. A lady just showed up at my door. Let's see, maybe I can put it up here and you'll be able to see it. She showed up at my door. Well, it was about, an, I don't know, a couple hours ago. There was a knock on the door and I looked out my porch window and saw a lady holding this big poster board or this, this picture. And I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> thought maybe she found it somewhere in the back. Someone had dumped it and she was going to ask if she could take it. But she apparently works or worked at the library. And this picture was in the library. There's a bit of a glare. There we go. And our house is in this picture. And this is what the neighborhood used to look like. And I would say that looks like probably the 1960s or 70s, I'm thinking. I don't know, is there any vehicles? There's one vehicle there. I don't know, maybe it's older than that. Does it say on here? It doesn't say what year. But none of these houses are here anymore. Well, most of them aren't here. Some of them are. I think some of them back here are. And there's some of these buildings that are still here. But none of this is here. There is one house on the opposite side down here, but you can't see it. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool that that's my house and none of this is here anymore. I wish it was. That would have been so great if all these Big old character homes were still here. Some little ones over here. It's really cute. There's a little one playing in the dirt right there. I don't know if you can see her with the glare. <laughs> Someone's got their clothes on the line. So she asked if I wanted this picture. And I was like, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> That's really super cool. It's very large. I think I'm going to be able to hang it in the dining room. I'm going to have to move a couple things off one wall. And I'll be able to hang it up there. But I couldn't say no to it. I just think it's really cool that that is what our neighborhood used to look like. And that's my house. <laughs> so I've started taking pictures in this area now. I no longer take photos in a light box. The light box is way too big, takes up way too much space, and I don't like how the pictures turn out. So I've got this little area here set up and that is where I now take my photographs on this 1950s Formica table. This is the set I got of Pyrex bowls and there's a chip on this one, unfortunately. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna sell, if I'm gonna list three of these bowls separately or if maybe I can try and sell the whole set locally, maybe someone will still wanna buy the whole set. It's not like it's been there for a while, it's not sharp worn down a little bit. It's a pot I got at the yard sale. I got to clean out with some barkeeper's friend. I have a video showing how I do that. So I'll see if I can remember which one it's in and I'll link it in this video. So if you want to check out how I clean, it's a pot almost exactly like that. So yeah, that's now where I'm taking photographs and I use the soft box. So I just plug it in and put it in front of my table so it lights up the area. It's kind of a big contraption, but <laughs> I just tuck it away here in my reseller room. These are my auction winnings. I said I was gonna do a haul, but I think I'll just quickly show you now what I got. So I purchased, this is an Eaton's, an old Eaton's hat box. It's kind of dark in here. I'm gonna turn the light on, see if that helps. kind of an orangey light, but, and it came with all three of these vintage hats. They are Angora. I don't think they're a hundred percent Angora, but there's a beige one, kind of a purpley blue one, and then a burgundy one. So I got all those in the auction. I think I paid $12.50 for the hats in the box. These brass swans were in 
with the brass crane. So I got these two quite large swans and the crane. And I believe I paid $30 for that lot. This was two separate lots. There was a whole lot of wood salt and pepper shakers. And there was lots of little wood barrels and souvenir ones that I wasn't interested in. But I got the whole lot for $5. And I got it because I really like these ones. They're wood with flowers. And then there was a set of tiki ones. And then two sets of mushrooms. So I got those for $5. And the other ones I'm just going to put in a yard sale or flea market. And then there was a Christmas lot. And it had all of these salt and pepper shaker light bulbs. They look like light bulbs. And then this, I believe, is a toothpick holder. Well, I think you would put like maybe little toothpicks with toothpicks with little chunks of cheese or <laughs> hors d'oeuvres in the Christmas tree. And then the two Christmas salt and pepper shakers. So that was, I think that was $5 as well for that lot. And then this was all one lot and I got all these and a faux tortoise shell hair products and mirrors. There's a couple mirrors. There's a compact. This has got mirror, a mirror on both sides. Comb, another mirror. And just some little hair accessories, a little box. So I got all of those in a lot. as well as this box. I didn't know this was cracked, but it is cracked. Little sewing box. And then these were in the sewing box. There were some other little things that I took out. Things that, just little pieces of string and stuff, but these are kind of cool. <laughs> Happy Home Rust Proof Needle Book. And it's got really neat graphics on it. Let's see if I can. Oh, there's no needles left in it, but really fun for displaying. Canadian needle book. This one's got a couple needles. So that lot, I think I paid $7.50 for that lot. And I think that's everything that I got from the auction. I didn't get a whole lot. And what I do when I'm doing an auction is I'll just put the highest I'm willing to pay for each lot and then just... If I win it, I win it. And if you have been watching regularly, you know that I've been looking for some cafe curtains for my kitchen, and I found them at a yard sale. This is not a spoiler alert because I don't think it was in the video, but I did find these curtains. They were $2 and they're perfect. They're just kind of a little touch long, but I really like the polka dot design on them and there's two, so, so I finally found them. I got this cat salt and pepper shaker, cat and ball of yarn salt and pepper shaker in the auction as well. It was $5. If you've seen the video, you already would have seen the cat because I showed it. But if you haven't seen the video, I got this little guy as well. I think I forgot to mention the reason the lady had this picture is I believe she worked in the library. And I don't know if they were maybe getting rid of some of the pictures and she took the picture and had it in her home and she's now moving to Vancouver, so she can't take it with her. So that's why she was trying to find a home for it. <laughs> that's why she showed up at my door. So I thought I would add that in there because I forgot to mention that. I'm just quickly grabbing a Starbucks coffee and then I'm gonna go to Shoppers Drug Mart and drop off my packages at the post office there. And then I'm gonna go to a thrift store. All right, I'm at Shoppers. I'm gonna bring these packages in and then we're going thrift store shopping. Yay! <laughs> Ring bell for service. There you awesome, go. thank you, you too. We are now at Village Green Thrift Store. It's gonna be a quick thrifting trip, but let's go in and see what I can find. 
don't need a whole lot because I have a, well, you saw, I have a whole room full of stuff that needs to be listed, but you never know. You never know. You got to check it out. All green tags are 50% off. Green tag clothing, a dollar. All clothing and accessories, 50% off. Let's grab a basket just in case we need a basket. Check out this area it's where they usually keep all the vintage stuff. Hostess frozen food saw. I sold a cake knife similar to that once. But I don't think I need to pick that up today. Um, those are pretty worn. Otherwise I'd pick them up, but that's pretty worn. Two picks. She's cute. Two dollars, Japan. Grab her. Oh, look at the. Those are so cute as is, because that one's stained. The rest are probably in good condition. Made in USA. A dollar. Let's grab those. And those are fun. Mid-century modern peacocks. They're six dollars each though. They are made in Hong Kong. They're pretty cool though. Do I want to pay twelve dollars for them? <laughs> that is the question. Oh, I think I'm gonna grab them. Definitely worth picking up for twelve dollars. Now I have to put them in my basket <laughs> or hold on to them. Mm. Nothing over here. There's an old hair dryer. It's five dollars. Tested and works. I think I'm going to see if I can leave these at the front so I don't have to hold on to them. That's a nice little chair. $40, that's so pretty. I have nowhere to put it though. Look at the pattern on that. Really fun. But I got no babies. The music is pretty loud over there so I didn't record but I did find this really pretty vintage pillow for two dollars so I'm gonna grab this we'll have a quick look at the hard goods two dollars that's a nice mug I already forget what's on sale is it yellow tags USA I think it's fire king Either that or Pyrex, but I think it's Fire King. Well, I'm gonna grab it. Lots of monkey pod. That's a nice tray. It does have a break right there though. And it is fixable. But the problem with pieces like this is finding the right box. It's not that they're hard to ship, it's just finding the, the right box for them. And it needs to be repaired, so I think I'll leave it today. So I found a few things in there. My total was $20. I did find a white, plain white t-shirt, but it wasn't really all that exciting, so I didn't show it. <laughs> But it was only two dollars just a plain white t-shirt i always pick them up whenever i find them for really cheap so now i am off to dollarama to pick up a few things for my etsy shop and myself so let's head on over to dollarama i think they need to change the name of this place from dollarama to 
three or four dollars. <laughs> so I don't think too much is actually a dollar here anymore. I had someone say I should write a list, and I probably should. Look, they got scrub mummies and scrub daddies here. What? Well, I'm gonna grab a couple of those. <laughs> those are epic. <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying is, yes, I should write a list, but I'd probably forget my list. And I could write it in my notes on my phone, but I'm using my phone to record, so. I just like to walk down the aisles aimlessly and, you know, figure out what I need. Oh, and I need a couple of these hangers. I usually like to thrift these, but. How much are they? Four dollars. I'm gonna grab some of these. I need these for some of my heavier wool jackets. I'm also going to reorganize my closet and purge a whole bunch of clothes. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do a before and after video. Because <laughs> I'm kind of an organizing queen, not to toot my own horn, but I'm really good at organizing. It's actually one of my favorite things to do. Okay, I don't need anything here. I need some of these. Dollar twenty-five. Okay, well, I lied. There is some things that are a dollar, but just over a dollar. And I also need some toothpaste. Ooh, they have Burt's Bees here. Extra white. It's five dollars, but I'll grab that. Rubber ducky, you're the one. <laughs> Those are kind of fun. I have the blue elephant. Wow, those are bright. This is the bright aisle. <laughs> Baking soda. I use this for cleaning. Works really well. I also need some more coconut sugar. Believe it or not, I used all that. That's quinoa. <laughs> That's not coconut sugar. That is. I think I, I don't know, I, I couldn't have used all the coconut sugar I just bought, but I can't, I can't find it. That reminds me, I need to get a few groceries too, but I don't know. Do you want to see me go grocery shopping? I honestly don't feel like going to the grocery store today. of those for now and some water okay these are a dollar there is stuff that's a dollar I love this water it's the lemon flavored carbonated natural spring water I need a notepad for writing notes <laughs> For lists. I need a notepad to write lists. <laughs> Actually what I need it for is whenever I sell something I always write down the dimensions of the box, the weight and how much it, it's uh, how much the shipping was on it and then I keep that so when I'm listing items if I'm listing something that's similar I will uh, refer to that so that I get the shipping calculations down. I'm pretty good at just figuring it out. I've done so much shipping, but if I'm unsure, I like to I like to uh, refer back to an item that I've already shipped. Well, that's you know, that's cute and all, but That one's $4. No, I just want a basic book. I don't need anything fancy. 
Hmm. How many sheets are in this? 240, $203. Okay, I'll grab this one. And it's pretty purple. I need some tape. And I need some Sharpies. I found the notepad I'm looking for. 250 ruled pages, $1.75. That's all I need. I don't need this $3 book just because it's purple. I thought they were all out of the tissue paper I used. They are not. And speaking of tissue paper, I need Kleenex and then I'm done. Paper towel. <laughs> Voila, the Kleenex. Grab a box like that size, and then I like a box like this size. What's this? What's with the penguin? It's not snowing. It's summer. This better be on sale. <laughs> it's out of season. <laughs> No, it's $3.50. Holy smokes. Yeesh. Okay, now I'm going to check out. I'm done, I think. Well, I think I spent about $60 in there. 30, no, 20 some for myself, 30 some for my business, something like that. When I'm purchasing items for myself and my business at the same time, I always do them separate. So I'll put through just my personal items, pay for them, and then I'll put through my business items and pay for them so that I have a separate receipt. Makes it a lot easier at tax time. So I think I'm going to end the video here. I'm gonna go home and edit two yard sale videos. So those will be coming up next week. So make sure you're subscribed. You don't wanna miss them, they're epic. <laughs> I found some pretty great vintage items and that's all for today so thank you so much for joining me until next time I hope you have a great day bye bye I hung the picture on the wall in the dining room and it fits perfect in that spot I don't know if it really goes with my other wall decor but it fits and it's my house <laughs> and my neighborhood I'm thinking that's probably 1930s Okay, that is option number one. That's the picture that was in the dining room. So I put it there and I don't know if I like that, but I have a second option. Just give me one second. Okay, that is option number two, girl with cherries. I think I like that better. Yeah. I think it goes better with the mid-century modern bookshelf and all the colors. Ties in nice with the wood. And it goes nice with the gold. I don't know, let me know what you think. Option number one or option number two. That is where the girl with cherries was. And I think that picture looks okay there. I don't know if it's ideal, but it's kind of nice because it's an, an outdoor cruel and then there's the outdoor, see the trees and stuff. So a little bit softer. So I think it works. Let me know what you think.